Hey there YouTube, welcome to another deck reveal. Today we will take a look at my Roy deck profile. I had a fun time trolling people with my Scrap Iron Scarecrow, Swords Revealing Light, and my Gyroid, but my Lat Stands video featuring my Roids didn't get to show the trolliest part of this deck. This deck build required a great amount of thought and built upon the builds of many other Roid decks. However, this deck relies on a different strategy other than summoning Barbaroid for a Powerbond OTK. No, this deck has been made to adapt to the strategies of decks in all tier levels. So, without further ado, allow me to explain my card choices. I run one Armoroid to pair with my Truckroids, two Machina Fortresses, one Gearframe, one because two are not all that necessary. Yes, Gearframe is able to search the fortresses, but most of the time, I don't exactly need more than one Gearframe to search or assist my jewels with its protective effect. I also run two Drillroids, mainly for its effect, which allows Drillroid to immediately destroy cards in defense position. This card alone saves many resources, as it easily gets over cards like Spirit Reaper and Marshmallow. I run three Truckroids, and two Shuttleroids, which, when paired with Scrap Iron Scarecrow, is sure to agitate your opponent. I run the standard two Tin Goldfishes for easy rank 4 Xyz plays, and three Express Roids to get back Roid monsters in the grave. I also main two Gyroids for easy rank 3 Xyz plays, and two Card Troopers for milling and the draw effect. I also pair it with my Soul Charge. Lastly, I run one Swift Scarecrow for a last resort stall. For spells, I run three Power Bombs, no Vehicroid Connection Zone because 1. I can't use it for Barbaroid, and 2. Power Bond makes a 3200 pair Cycroid, in which I only pay 1600 life points during my end phase. So yeah, no Connection Zone. I run one Soul Charge, and three Swords of Revealing Light to allow me to set up. I play two MSTs to get rid of back row, and one limiter removal. For traps, I run one bottomless, one mirror force for punishment should my opponent get rid of my scrap iron scarecrow, one torrential, one deep prison, and one scrap iron scarecrow. Lastly, I main two fiendish chains. But that's only 38 cards you say? But of course, the trolliest part of this deck pairs with the majority of my traps and my swords of revealing light. The final two cards are Gear Spring Spirit. But why Gear Spring? Well, originally, this deck focused on reversing Truckroid's attack and defense with Shield and Sword to allow me to get over most of my opponent's monsters. However, I found it rather inconsistent. Also, after having my Barbaroid taken out time and time again during its sun, I thought that there must be some way to have a Vehicroy connection zone without actually using the card. From here, I remember Falgram, and from there, I stumbled upon Gearspring Spirit. Gearspring is a level 8 that special summons itself so long as the only thing in my grave are machines. Also, once per turn, I can change the attack of one of my opponent's face-up monsters to zero until the end phase. Do you see how this compare with my Truckroid? Nevertheless, the true pleasure of running Gear Spring Spirit is the fact that it satisfies Felgrand's need of level 8 monsters for its summon. When I successfully summon Felgrand and Barbaroid, and or Parasycroid beefed up by Powerbond and Limiter removal, good luck getting rid of it. So now you know I run Barbaroid and Parasycroid and Felgrand, but my extra deck also utilizes one Heretic Sun Dragon, one Draco Sack, two Girgagant X, easily made with tin goldfish, one Papal Operative, one Kachi Kochi Dragon, one 101 Silent Honor Arc, one My Stroke, one Gagaga -ga -ga Cowboy, because he wins duels, one Levier, and one Zen Mines. As for my side deck, I will only reveal a few cards. Depending if you want a Synchro Roy deck, I recommend citing two Turbo Synchron, a great level 1 tuner for the 1 Armades and 1 Cataster I also recommend you side. And if you want more punishment, side 1 Blast Sphere, in which you can swap in for a Swords of Revealing Light. And there you have it, my Trolly Roy deck profile. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and remain aware of my activity on my Google Plus page. Until next time, AMG out!